Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and haul of some San Mio school supplies. Every year at the beginning of the school year we get a list of school supplies and normally I go to Target and just go all out but this year I decided to buy some stuff from Sanrio. So these are the Fit Cut Curve Junior Scissors and they are a mini version of the Fit Cut Curve Scissors for adults but they have an extra cute detail which is the adorable little San Mio case. So I have the adult version of the scissors and these scissors are different from regular scissors because they have a curved blade. As you can see I'm comparing the friskers to the fit cut curve and the blade helps you to grip things more tightly when you're cutting. So these scissors will enable you to cut through things like thick plastic, maybe not really thick plastic, but the kind of plastic that comes with package wrappings. I got one pair of scissors for each of my daughters. So this is the my Melody pair. You know, it's times like these where I'm so glad that I have two girls because it's such a fun experience doing back to school shopping for them. I can just go all out on cute stationery like this. And thankfully they really like this stuff too. These are just almost too cute to take to school. I'm definitely going to have to put their name on the case and the scissors like they do in Japanese preschool. You have to label everything like every single crayon with your child's name. So my kids school list calls for two erasers and not that I needed to buy any erasers because I have so many erasers in my stash but I saw these on the website and they were around two dollars each so I just decided to go for them and I love the ombre color on these erasers. So you can see the price in Japanese yen, it's 150 yen. And I think I paid around two US dollars for it, so it's about 50 cents more in the US than it is in Japan, which I feel like that's to be expected generally. Now, I'm not sure how well these erasers are going to work because they don't look like they're made out of that white material that the really good erasers are made of, but hopefully they won't be too terrible and they'll probably be better than the pink pearl erasers. Not that we need any more pencil cases in our house, but I saw this one on the website and this is the Tatemo pencil case. I love these ultra-functional Japanese pencil cases and the fact that it had a Hello Kitty on it, I mean, I had to get it. It's kind of a medium size rather than a large size, so I feel like it's more appropriate for older kids who don't have to bring a ton of school supplies to school like my kids have to bring colored pencils scissors crayons markers so many things and I really don't think that this pencil case is large enough to hold all their supplies so maybe it's something that I have to keep this little pocket that has the eraser is kind of hard to get into because of the velcro Another thing is that this is white, so it seems like it's going to get dirty really easily, but they didn't have any other colors.
The cool thing about this pencil case is that it stands up and it sticks together with a magnet. The magnet's right here and right here. So it's pretty strong and it just sticks together really easily. So you can stand your pencil case up while you're writing and you can see all of the things inside. I kind of prefer the Lee Heat Lab pencil case over this one because it has more pockets, but this is nice because it's more of a compact version that's portable and I think it's great to take to school or wherever. I've been on the lookout for a automatic pencil sharpener for the longest time, I can't even tell you. I wanted to get a cute one and I saw so many different pencil sharpeners in Korea but I just never bought one and when I saw this on the Sanrio website I just decided to go ahead and go for it. It was kind of pricey, it was like 30 something dollars and you could see that they put the Japanese yen price on as well as the US price on the box. It's a little bit cheaper in Japanese yen, but I just decided to go for this anyway. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So I think that the design on the pencil case is really cute. I love the color scheme of like light purple and bright pink and I noticed that the design on this pencil case is something that matches with the pair of fit cut curve scissors that I got for my kids. The picture of the scissors online is really small so I didn't notice this when I purchased it and it doesn't match up perfectly but if you look at the packaging of the scissors I think it's from the same line. I'm so happy to have one of these sharpeners because I've wanted one for a long time but I put off buying one because I was afraid that my kids would put their finger into the pencil sharpener. My older daughter tried to do that when she was a toddler and she she caught herself a little bit. So that was just a, with a regular pencil sharpener. I was really afraid to get an automatic pencil sharpener but now they're both old enough not to do that. So. So this year I wanted to get my kids a lightweight lunchbox because in past years we've gone with a yum box and it's actually really heavy. So it has the nice compartments but on days when they're just bringing rice and vegetables and something like that, a more Japanese style bento, I thought that these would be really nice. And I got this one because it matches perfectly with Sienna's Hello Kitty chopstick set. So she has a spoon, fork, and chopstick set for kids, and the design is exactly the same on this one. That Hello Kitty lunchbox is really cute, but the problem is you can't put it into the dishwasher and you also can't microwave it. But these two bento boxes are microwave safe and dishwasher safe and I think you can also put them into the freezer. The price was not bad at all. It's 900 yen in Japan and it was around 13 US dollars. This bento box is for my daughter Valentina because she has a cinnamon roll spoon fork and chopstick set and this one has a little ventilation so you can microwave it which she's not going to do at school but i wanted to get her a lightweight bento box too and this one is a little bit larger than the hello kitty one it also doesn't match perfectly with valentina's chopsticks but unfortunately they didn't have a cinnamon roll matching box on the sanrio website so i just went with this one Here's a size comparison between the two bento boxes. From the side, you can definitely see that the cinnamon roll one is much larger. So I feel like that one is meant for the adults and then this Hell Kitty one is more of a kid's size. So maybe my kids can just mix and match. Their chopsticks don't have to match with the lunchbox. They might also take their Yum Box lunch boxes every once in a while. They are nice because they have the different compartments in them but I wasn't too happy with that brand, to be honest. 
I also couldn't resist this Kuromi dental box. So I am 100% working from home now, but at some point in the future, I do anticipate having to go back to work in the office at least some of the time. So I got this one for myself. But actually, both of my kids like Kuromi as well. So when I asked Valentina which one she wanted, she likes the Kuromi one the best. So she may end up using this or I'll probably switch them up and I'll just have extras. I really like these tricolor pens and I love little twin stars so of course I had to get this one. This is just a regular ballpoint pen and it was kind of pricey but because I tend to use these a lot for work I just decided to get it. I have a uh, friction ball tricolor pen and I also have the zebra sarasa tricolor pen and those ones both have gel ink but I don't know, I just love this design, so I just decided to go for it. I mean, even though I'm not going back to school, I figure I can get some new supplies for myself, right? I think this pen would be really cute if it had like pink and blue as the pen colors, but it has, you know, just the basic red, blue, and black. As you can see, the clip is really large. It kind of reminds me of the Zebra Sarasa clip. And I really like how the tip of this pen is transparent. It's so chic, I think. And I like how you can just see through a little bit, but not all the way. It looks really modern. Even though the colors are pretty basic, I think this is really useful because those are the colors that I end up using most frequently. So I got a couple of things from Amazon. This first one is the Kira Rich highlighters and I got a blue one in one of my Inku crates and I really liked it. It has a glitter finish to it and this is just the rainbow pack. It was just surprisingly really affordable on Amazon and my daughter Sienna needs to bring two highlighters to school so I thought I would get her some extra fancy ones with the glitter on it and so she can choose from all of these rainbow colors and I guess I'll just keep the remaining ones for myself or we can just use them at home. I will say though that I was kind of disappointed with these highlighters because the glitter finish was not as prominent as I thought it was going to be. It was definitely a lot less prominent than the sample one that I got in my Inku crate. But the colors are still nice and maybe after we use them for a while, the glitter will come out. Where did you get your locket? Your locket, the rose thing? Your locket? Your locket. And the people are like, I'm the little twin stars. You can just decorate your notebook or something. The cinnamon roll cut cinnamon roll because it likes cinnamon rolls. It has the cinnamon roll in the back of its head. Mm -hmm. How come you guys don't like cinnamon roll anymore? Mm. I like it. You like it? I like it. It's canon. Isn't canon the type of printer we've got? Mommy, I don't want to just keep these stickers. The girls came in while I was filming this video, so I thought I would just play a little bit of our conversation that we had. And let me know in the comments below what school supplies you got this year, what your favorite items are, and if you have 
any recommendations for really amazing supplies that we should all check out. Look, Cinnamon Roll has a younger brother. The younger sister. That, that looks like a boy. Is she a girl or a boy? I think Cinnamon Roll is a boy. I, I think she's a girl. Mommy, um, is Cinnamon Roll a boy or is she a, is it a girl? I think she's a girl. Mm, this is so cute. I like this one the best. Mommy, so you, so know, you know those scissors you got? Are those hello cases? Yeah, big? it's like that, but it's kids. Fit cut curve. How'd you know? Because it looks like it. Oh yeah, that's this. It's a kid's version of the fit cut curve. That's what those scissors. You guys like all scissors or just me? <laughs> <laughs> So I bought these on Amazon and they had all different characters. They had like the Karomi, Cinnamon Roll, Pom Pom Perrine. And honestly, I just got these two because they were the cheapest. The price range was around four to seven dollars for a pack. And I think these were in the lower price range. And I like, you know, both Cinnamon Roll and Little Twin Stars. And I figured my kids could just use these to decorate some of their planar school supplies like folders and notebooks. There's such a wide variety of designs and they all kind of have a different look and feel to them. Some of them have like thicker uh, outlines for instance and the colors are slightly different. They're not completely consistent throughout. Like you can see the, the hair color like on this one especially is very different. So I have my doubts as to whether these are like licensed Sanrio items or not, but I don't know. I like them. I think that uh, we'll get some good use out of these stickers. I got these little camera hand sanitizer cases. This is from the More Than Magic line at Target. And I figured that my kids could just clip this on their backpack, but I was shocked to find that there was no hand sanitizer inside. That was so annoying. So I'm gonna have to go back and buy some hand sanitizer from Target to insert in here. And I thought these were really cute because they light up. I did notice when I went on the website though that they didn't have a unscented, unfragranced option. Everything was heavily scented and I don't know how the scents are going to be but I was not too happy if they did not have a unscented one. Valentina is going to be in kindergarten and her school supply list calls for primary pencils. So I found this on Amazon. It came with this adorable little ladybug sharpener and it has a space to sharpen fat pencils as well as skinny pencils. And Valentina is going to be using the fat pencils 
I just thought that these were a little bit more fun than the basic Ticonderoga primary pencils. So they're a little bit different because they have a triangular shape and they have little dots on the casing which make the pencils easier to grip. So I don't know which one she's going to like but I just thought these were prettier than the regular ones. So this is the backpack that Sienna is going to use. This is a cinnamon roll backpack that we won from the Japanese UFO catcher and as I was unpacking all of our stuff we found this and she really liked it. So the lunchbox she's using is this one by Northern Magic and we got this at Target. We did go to Target to get some more basic school supplies like a binder and folders and notebook paper, color pencils, things like that. And so while we were there we saw this cute lunch bag and my daughters each picked one out. I like how it has a heart name tag on the inside. It's super glittery and sequiny and fancy. So Sienna. My kids each have to bring like seven folders to school and these are just pocket folders. So most of the ones they picked out are pretty basic but I let them get a couple of fancy ones. And this one has some flocking. I think this one was by More Than Magic. And then there's the other made one which has the flowers on it. Here's Valentina's backpack. My sister got this for her last year for her birthday, but she didn't go to school because she wasn't in kindergarten yet, so she didn't really use it. And so she's just gonna use it this year for school. It's a little bit smaller than the normal size, but I think it's still gonna work. And this one is by the More Than Magic line at Target. I think that it's such a cute line. For her lunch bag, Valentina picked out this rainbow silver one by more than magic at target it was on the shelf right next to sienna's unicorn one and sienna immediately went for the unicorn one and valentina thought about it a little and then she decided that she liked this one and i think it's funny because this one is a little bit more mature looking than the unicorn one but valentina tends to like plainer styles than sienna like for instance when she picked out her ballet outfit she wanted all black and Sienna, on the other hand, at that same age, loved sparkly things and girly pastel colors. So they're very different. So I'm just doing a demo of the lunchbox set. That's Valentina's cinnamon roll, spoon, fork, and chopstick set. And so it would match perfectly with the bento box. Well, not perfectly. And then this little box I bought on Yes Style, and I thought it would be good to put cut fruit in for a snack because the bento box is actually quite small. So this thing would fit a yum box, and the yum box would take up the entire space of the lunch bag. Um, but the smaller bento box that I got has less space for fruit and things like that. This would probably just fit, you know, the main meal. And see how nicely the top six set matches with the bento box. This is Sienna's, and it's a smaller size, so it's probably more appropriate for my younger daughter, but the Hello Kitty chopsticks actually belong to Sienna, my older daughter. So, when I was shopping on Target.com, I was looking for stuff from More Than Magic, because I just wanted to see what else they had, and I saw that they had some notebooks, and so my kids need like 7 to 10 of these composition notebooks and the marble composition ones are really cheap they're like 50 cents each but I thought I would just try out a couple of these cute ones and the more than magic line had these flock happy face notebooks which were like kind of fun so I got one for each of them and then I saw this rainbow one by Mead and I just decided to try out one but I actually like the rainbow one better than the flocked ones so these are kind of pricey for notebooks, they're each around $2 or something like that, $2.50. Um, so they're kind of expensive, but I don't know, I just thought I would get a couple to try out. So they can each have a couple of fancy notebooks. And I also got these little craft kits. It's one of those gemstone decorating kits where you put the gems into the little spaces. So I think that out of all of the supplies, I'm probably most excited about this because 
This is some fabric that I got off of Etsy from a shop called Neko Neko and this shop sells Japanese fabrics that are made in Japan but this shop is interestingly based in Singapore and the shipping time was not that long it was probably less than a week um, she tied the package with this cute onigiri fabric which I liked and what I bought was double gauze fabric which is made in Japan and you'll typically see this in the craft store and people use this to make um, masks because even before the pandemic it was really common to wear a mask in Japan whenever you're sick just as a matter of common courtesy so when my daughter was in preschool you would even see kids wearing masks at school when they were sick just because like it's a way to prevent other people from getting sick it's a way of pre preventing your germs from spreading everywhere when you sneeze so um, the only thing is that this double gauze fabric is probably a little bit more porous than like a thicker cotton fabric so it's not as protective but um, when I made masks for my kids Valentina really liked the double gauze mask because the fabric is really soft it's very breathable and it's really comfortable um, so I wanted to get some more double gauze fabric to make masks and this time around I'm probably going to make a few with um, one, two layers of double gauze and then I may, I'll probably make most of them with an inner layer of like a thicker cotton quilting fabric. I found a pattern online which I'm going to be using to make the mask and I might end up putting a little pocket in the mask so they can insert a filter. But because the, of the new variant, I'll probably have them wear a 95 mask until they're vaccinated and then after they're vaccinated um, maybe we can use these masks or they can use them when they're playing tennis or when we're out and about in a non-crowded area. Stay tuned, I'll have another Sanrio haul coming up because I decided to split this into two videos, one for school supplies and another for other cute things. And I want to give a big shout out and thank you to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.